Hello everybody, it's Seth Rivero here, here to talk about, uh, do another discussion video. It's been, it's been a long time, you know, I usually don't like pumping these things out, like, non-stop, but, uh, it's just been a slow month, week, uh, I recently, uh, celebrated 4th of July, and, ooh, I've just, ugh, it's just been really loud, uh, but yeah, uh, sorry if my videos have been getting a little slower recently, I've just been writing, almost done with the book, um, I've been doing that and stuff, but, uh, yeah, let's not talk about that now, right now, but, uh, we're gonna talk about a little theory video I've been wanting to do, because I did one on the dragon's bow, why not do one on the invisible thing, probably one of the most outlandish, and one of the most speculated things in the whole Index universe, you know, uh, especially with the recent novel that came out, it didn't really specify on that specific thing, it did, it did show up in the, in the latest novel, but, they're not, not really much so, not a lot of info was dumped, it was kind of like, I lost grabbed it and like, Hey Alistair, you made this thing grow pretty big. I'm still kind of confused of whether or not he was talking to Alistair or Tom, but I'm pretty sure he was talking to Alistair. But, uh, yeah, the invisible thing. Um, when it first showed up, uh, I want to say during the Deep Blood arc, even though, like, it, it was a dragon coming out of Thomas arm, but pretty much all of us know that it was... Uh, Aurelius, I think that, no, it wasn't Aurelius, well, who am I forget saying, it's been a long time since I did a on these, uh, Izzard, it was Izzard who, uh, sort of manifested it, you know, what he thought it was, or at least, Invisible Thing absorbed the magic and made what it actually looked like. Now, it's possible that this is linked to the whole eight dragons of Revelations, you know, the whole thing in the Bible where, you know, world's gonna end and the eight-headed beast or whatever comes out. I don't understand Revelations. And I'm a Christian, but, but I haven't... Uh, Revelations is some... You know... But, um... Yeah, I, I'm pretty... What all of us think, what Kimichi's going down the route, is he's going down the route of the whole uh, demon eight-headed dragon clash thing. You know, I haven't... That'll be a separate video in itself, because that really deserves it. But, um... What the invisible thing could possibly be, there are multiple freaking theories out there of what it could possibly be. Some say it's Alistair's daughter, which we can, we can rule that out. Uh, but, oh, I don't know. It could be. I don't know. But, uh, but I will say we could definitely rule that possibility out. Uh, some say it was dragons. That's still a possibility. That's still up there. It could still be the eight-headed whole dragon thing with curls on. That could definitely be the thing what Kimichi's going with there. Uh, some people think it's Thomas Esper power, which I personally do think that it's his Esper power. It does make sense in a way, uh, you know, him not really being able to use powers and, because Imagine Breaker, whenever he gets cut off, oh, guess what, an invisible thing comes out and he can command it and he can talk to it, oh, I wonder if that's his Esther power, <laughs> but it, to me it just seems kind of obvious, but who knows, Games, he can do whatever he wants with his book, but, um, but yeah, personally, I do feel like it, it, it'll be, I th not next volume, I don't think, but maybe in the, it'll definitely be exposed or what it actually is in the future but pretty much from uh, pretty much all the ways we've seen it is we've seen it with the fight with Izzard when he manifest made it manifested it and made it look like what it actually was potentially we saw it during Fiyama in the World War 3 arc where Toma told it to go back in, in his arm and Fiyama was freaking crap in his pants uh, whatever. We saw it in the Bagot City when Athenius was commenting on how weak it's gotten or whatever, and she crushed it with her foot or staff. I, I forget which. Uh, <laughs> and then we saw it again with uh, the meteor coming down with uh, the old man in it, and it kind of blocks it. Where it, well, Thomas hand blocks it, but it, it had like a thing. Lisa like saw it, and it was kind of like because his hand kind of broke, and it came out, and it stopped it, and like Musica was like, oh my gosh, it's so powerful, and um, then later down we saw it again with, uh, with Kamisato, and it beats the crap out of him, uh, and then finally we fought, we see it last time with Airwas kind of breaking his arm like a twig, and it pops out, and it kind of gets it, and he crushes it. Now, notice how I didn't really go into great detail of what happened there, because again, the books don't go into great detail of what it does. We know that it may have kind of sort of a mind of its own, like it, because it obeys Toma, like he told to go back in his arm when he fought Fiona, and it did. Uh, it does, it seems to have a consciousness, you know, it, it, it seems to like kind of go on its own way, like it's kind of weird when you say it, like, 
it behaves on its own, but then it doesn't. It does stuff that Tomo doesn't want it to, but then again, it follows him what he wants sometimes, and it does whatever what he wants to. It's really weird. Situ it's a really weird situation for that. Now again, I do think this is his Esper power. It could potentially be. I mean, maybe a fusion of his Esper power and something else. Who freaking knows? It could be the eight-headed dragon, but it just doesn't manifest it. Who knows? Because recently we did find out that Imagine Breaker is its own separate thing and not really... It exercises demons. It it gets rid of summonings. So maybe it's it's potentially... Maybe what happened with it in the past with Alistair's Master is maybe he, it absorbed something. Maybe it... Maybe he contains something within it. Now, it's quite possible that when Toma got it, maybe he had something in him the whole entire time, and it would just got on there, and it sealed whatever was in him. Maybe Toma's the freaking devil. I don't freaking... Maybe Toma's the headed dragon of revelations. Who knows? But honestly, I do think it was started with Toma being special. You know, him having, maybe he had something within him when he was a kid, and then maybe that's when he got Imagine Breaker. Because again, we don't really, like, Imagine Breaker passes to different stuff, so I mean, I don't know, maybe something attached to Imagine Breaker to keep itself safe. Maybe it just went to Toma. Like, I, I don't I don't know. It, it, the theories out there could be endless. I mean, you can make any number of freaking theories you want to. The Invisible Thing is really qu a really big speculation on my part. You could pretty much say anything, and anything would probably make sense. But, uh, like, personally, I do feel like it was a thing, maybe whatever the thing is attached itself to Imagine Breaker, and it just hit Toma, and it, it connected to his arm. But who knows, maybe once Imagine Breaker gets gotten rid of, maybe at some point Toma will fight, and maybe he'll lose it completely, and maybe we'll get to see the full extent of what this invisible thing is at one point. Now, I, 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 will, I, would, I would say that this is highly unlikely, but... Given the fact they're fighting basically Satan, I mean, <laughs> I would think Imagine Breaker wouldn't necessarily be enough. I would think, hey, let's use the power that could potentially get really strong and beat the thing. You know, I, I, that's what I think anyway. But, um, yeah, I'm, the Invisible Thing is definitely something really just... You have to wait and see. Like you can make any number of possibilities with it. Honestly, I I do think that in in the future we will have to see its full potential. I I do think maybe Thomas and Imagine Breaker will become non-existent now that we know what it is. Kind of like I do feel like Thomas gonna have to have a new power here. Like it's just it'll have to be gotten rid of somehow in some way, and then maybe he can use the invisible thing that's still latched on to him because. I mean, I still do think it's it's harsh part of his Esper power. Maybe he's a level six. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Like, just just think about it like this, okay? Toma could potentially be a level six, you know, because invisible thing and all that. Accelerator split, I would say, is somewhat close to level six, kind of, sort of. Uh, I guess you could potentially say he's a level six already, since he's so powerful, <laughs> powerful now. Um, we have Misika, who's pr who got a little bit into the level 6 lane, or 6 point, or 5.1, not really level 6, uh, people correct me all the time on that. But, uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, I'll make a video about level 6s in the future, I'm just saying, it's, you know, 6, 6, 6, you know, is, maybe that's what Kamichi's going with here, oh, the three six six sixes, you know, fighting off the demon, you know, it, it just, it makes sense to me, honestly, because Crowley's, I don't know, well, I'm, just, I'm just rambling on here. But yeah, so not really much to say about invis the invisible thing, mainly do we just have to wait and see. Not really a lot of speculation on that, since we don't really know a lot, or pretty much nothing. Uh, there was that one time uh, we did see in the Rogan manga with the six dragons, or eight, or whatever, how many there were. Uh, but yeah, there were those, but you couldn't really count those as invisible things. I guess you could, but... But basically, it's drawn to the point where it's, it, it, it only manifests, or at least makes it look like dragons as far as we know when there's great power everywhere when like because musical was exerting so much freaking power and she was only level 5.2 or at the time i think but uh after transformation but yeah uh visible thing what do you guys think the invisible thing is you think it's homo's esper power you think it's just something latched on the imagine breaker and just 
watched on the Tomo? You think it was just something within Tomo this whole time? What are your thoughts on it? You think, what about, what about if it was a demon or whatever and it just got absorbed at the time when, when Alistair's master was possessed it? But, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, leave your comments down below. Sorry, I'm really doing a lot of these. It's just... Ooh, but yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys later.